Hey awesome people, welcome to YouTube to our very first Starfield video. This video will be about you no know, background and traits, so let's uh talk about them. Oh as you can see we uh want you to do a little quick tutorial which will take like five minutes. You'd be able to select your profile, you know, pick a person who you want to be. You can also change in the body. You know, you can go thin muscular, you can change your body type like that. Same as like a body type, you know. You can have a, a feminine walk or a male walk. You, know. you can change your skin tone, change your face, but we're here for the backgrounds because backgrounds you cannot change. And as you can see, there's quite a while. Some are better than none, or some are better than others. But let's get into it. So, I have a beast hunter, fitness, you know. Oxygen, in my opinion, is... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the best. Ballistic is pretty good for fighting astronomy. That's if you want to, you know, get your own food for healing. Which is, I mean, it's alright, but not the best, in my opinion. But again, you can play a game however you want. It's your choice. So, uh, let's get into a balancer. Boxing is, you know... Uh, unarmed fighting. So if you want to go unarmed fighting, that it's not a bad perk. Security, you know, for lock picking. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good because you're gonna be doing. Well, there's a lot of chests that you can lock pick, and then fitness action. So, hmm, I mean, it's not bad. Like I said, if you want to go into unarmed and lock picking, it's not the, not not the bad, uh, not the bad choice. Bounty hunter is, uh, you know, you get piloting. Targeting its control system and boost pack training. Boost pack, you know, jet pack. Tar targeting control systems is like in Fallout, you know. You can take out certain uh, parts of the enemy ship. And piloting, you know, you'd be a better pilot. So if you want to do a lot more uh, space fighting or just work on your starship, this is probably the best. I don't think there's any better than this one. It's pretty good because you'll be able to get into better perks and be able to uh, build your own better ship slightly faster if you go Bounty Hunter. So that's what I want for my main blue through. But again, it's your choice. Chef, you get Gastronomy, Dueling, and Scavenging. Gastronomy is, again, if you're trying to craft your own food, it's not bad, but you can get away without doing it. Dueling is, you know, melee weapons, which are not bad. And Scavenging, you know, more loot not the worst choice but again just having gastronomy is like the one perk that's not really amazing is is not I mean not great but it's a it's not a bad class if you want to go melee uh fighting so the combat medic yeah pistol certificate or pistol certification medicine and wellness um so pistol certification is pretty good you know combat but you can get over that combat uh, perks you have medicine you know it's not bad and wellness uh, it's all right so i mean it's a pretty good uh pretty good background but again there's better like again bounty hunter and a couple down below let's look at cyber runner you have stealth security and theft so if you want to go more stealthy kind of like a thief play style this is the best again stealth Nobody can see you, and you can go undetected. Security for lock picking and theft. You know, that way you with theft you be able to loot a person without having to kill them. And with stealth you do it stealthily, and security again lock picking. So if you go on for more of a thief play style, Cyber Runner is the best. So for cybernetics, you have medicine, security, or lasers. Medicine is not bad, as I, thought, as I said before. Security, probably one of the best uh, perks, at least starting-wise. And lasers, you know, again, you'd be using some laser weapons. So if you're going to use laser weapons, it's not bad. But again, there are better classes. Uh, diplomat, self-explanatory. It's more about persuasion, commerce, wellness you're not really into fighting or uh, a lot of piloting you just you know want to uh, have some be able to buy and sell stuff for uh cheaper and well sell for more 
or you want to have an easier time to go through speech checks, Diplomat is good because again, persuasion system allows you to be able to uh, have better chance to persuade people or intimidate. And commerce, as I said, you'd be able to have easier time in uh, buying and selling. And bonus, again, not the best. Explorer, you get lasers, astrodynamics, and surveying. We talked about lasers already. Good if you want to use laser weapons, but there's so many. And you, again, you can get away without using combat skills. Astrodynamics, you know, it's allows you to travel further, but it's not as amazing. It's still pretty okay, but you know, you can get away without having to jump a little more. It's good if you want to do further um, jumps and surveying, you know, if you want to explore and, you know, sc uh, like scout out the resource, surveying is not the bad. Not a, not a bad not a bad pick for that, but I'll let you decide on that one. Gangster, you have shotgun certification, boxing, and theft. Um, I don't know about that one. There's some really good shotguns, some just amazing shotguns. But again, going close quarters, and you have shotgun and boxing, so it's all right. Again, boxing is more unarmed and theft already talks, so it's not a bad, but personally, I wouldn't go too close quarter um, weapons or uh, combat skills. But, hmm. Homesteader, you have geology, survey, surveying, and weightlifting. We talk about geology, you know, you have new discovered minerals, you know, uh, that allow you with crafting. Which you can do to grab better spacesuit, helmets, weapons, uh, your outpost, like a settlement. It's not a bad. That's if you want to do, like, go into more building, crafting. That's a pretty good perk. Surveying, we already talked about it. Weightlifting is really nice because you'll be able to carry a lot more. And, you know, um, I like to loot a lot and... <laughs> Sometimes a little too much. So weightlifting would be not a bad pick for me, but I didn't go that. I said I want bounty hunter. Talk about industrialist. You know, persuasion is good again for talking with people, uh, passing the speech check. Security already talked. It's really good for cracking. Uh, what should we call it? Saves and chests that are locked. Research method. Again, it's really nice uh, for crafting because be able to uh, do some. So it's not a bad, but it's also not the best. It's it's okay. To be honest, background. Long hauler. Yeah, weightlifting, piloting, and ballistic weapon system. Weightlifting, we talk is more carry, so it's pretty good. Piloting, you know, be able to uh, be able to move your ship or maneuver your ship better, and eventually be able to get a better classes of ship. So it's pretty good perk if you do a lot of. Um, Space fighting. In ballistic weapons, it's, you know, weapons that are, uh, weapon system are classes ballistic, so it's, it's worth if you want to go more space fighting. It's not a bad, but weightlifting would not be good so, for space fighting. But again, it's pretty good background. Talk about pilgrim, you got scavenging, surveying, gastronomy. It's, it's not bad for, you know, traveling to new systems and exploring. Because you'd be able to scavenge more, be able to loot up more, surveying, be able to, you know, scan easier and shine me for more crafting food. So it's it's not a worse. Uh, professor, astrodynamics, geology, and research. It's better if you do a lot of uh, crafting and exploring because exploring is astrodynamics, you know, be able to move further. Geology and research, geology is from, as I said, um, Collecting more stuff, which will help with research, which is why research method. So it's good if you want to do a lot of crafting. Ronan, you got dueling, stealth, and scavenging. So if you want to go stealthy, close quarters attack, this is probably pretty good. Better than the chef. The chef has dueling and scavenging, but it has gastronomy. Versus Ronan, that has dueling, stuff and scavenging. Be able to have easier time eliminating enemies up close. See me stealthily and getting more loot. So it's pretty good. 
Uh, sculptor, get medicine, geology, and persuasion. Um, not bad, but also not the great. It's more like mediocre, in my opinion. You know, medicine is nice. You'd be able to heal yourself for more. Uh, geology, again, already talked. Collect them more minerals for crafting persuasion, you know, passing speech checks and doing other stuff. Fit, uh, soldier, sorry, soldier. It's more for fighting. It's, again, your soldier. Fitness for more oxygen so you'll be able to run and do some stuff. But not, not amazing. Let's be honest. Fitness is not, not the greatest perk. Ballistics is more for weapons that are bullets. So it's pretty good. But you can get it without using ballistics because combat, at least on the ground, is not as bad. I've not had trouble fighting enemies on the ground. So ballistics, I did take it, but it's more so I can eliminate easier. Even without it, it's still pretty good. And, sorry, boost pack training. You know, you'd be able to move around uh, with boost pack, get into better positions fighting, or explore a little more. So it's not bad if you want to go more combat-heavy playstyle. So about space scoundrel. You get pistol certification, piloting, and persuasion. Not bad if you want to go pistol-heavy. There's some really nice pistols that you want to use. So it's pretty good. So you can take out enemies better. Piloting will already talk. Be able to pilot better your spacecraft and eventually get better um, spaceships. Persuasion, pretty good. So overall, as it says, it's not good. It's not bad. You know, it's 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 good. It's decent. I wouldn't say good. It's it's definitely decent. Uh, it's in xenobiology. So you got lasers, surveying, and fitness. To be honest, not amazing. Personally, I have not yet found a really amazing laser weapon. So, personally, I wouldn't take it. But there's there's some good laser weapons. But I enjoy more ballistic weapons. Surveying, again, not the worst in fitness. It's all right. uh, to be honest, it's not the best. I, I'll put it lower on the rankings out of all backgrounds. And then we got file not found. You got wellness, ballistics, and piloting. Um... Decent, but wellness is it doesn't make it a really nice class. If I had something else instead of wellness, like um, maybe a boost pack, this would be a lot better. Or even um, scavenger would make found that found a really nice class because ballistics is good for fighting, and piloting is already pretty good. So personally, probably the best. Be like Ronan, Professor. Um, where's it at? Uh, Cyber Runner and uh, Bounty Hunter. Again, each one will help with different playstyles, but they're probably among the tops that I would personally rank. No, but you and you have to pick a background. Now let's talk about traits. There's not as many traits. Uh, traits are your give and take things you know they give you something good but they get you negative you don't have to pick them you can pick none you can pick one you can pick two you can pick three and you eventually you can kind of get rid of them but let's talk about that alien dna you know you get more health and oxygen but the healing items aren't as effective and to be honest that's a really good trait because the negative not is not as bad because having more health allows you to stay in fight longer, and oxygen allows you to explore a little more without needing to stop and uh, get it back. Because oxygen is like stamina in here. Dream home, you know, you get a really nice house, customizable, but you get 125k credit mortgage, and that you have to pay weekly. It's not bad. I no, it sounds a lot like uh, like a lot of money, but. But doing a few quests, you can get it back. You can get that money pretty easy. So it's a pretty nice perk. Or sorry, pretty nice trade. Ampuff. Mm, you know, it's more if you... Uh, uh, how do you say? You like using companions because it will increase their combat effectiveness. But, I mean... It's not, it's not the greatest. I personally wouldn't take it. So it's up to you. You got extrovert, which if you have that, you can take extrovert. 
or introvert. Extrovert is, you know, going out with other people. So you get uh, better, uh, get more stuff uh, when you're out with other people, your companions. But if you don't like to, if you want to be more solo with no companions, which unfortunately sometimes you will have to be because the main story or side quest. But if you want to be solo, you can take introvert. But again, you don't have to take other. Now we talk about Freestar Collective, which you also have, uh, I believe, Neon Street, Street Rat and um, what you call it? Uh, few other ones so freestar collective you know it gives you more special access to freestar collective and better rewards but again you cannot be a neon street, street rat or the united native uh, united counties native you know uh here worshipped if you played oblivion i believe you get a adoring fan you know he it's good because you get a free ship crew and he'll give you gifts. And you can eventually get rid of him if you get annoyed with him. So it's not a bad perk. It's worth if you want to get a free uh, ship crew and get some gifts. Get stuff. You get parents, which is surprising, I know, in the games. But um, they're pretty good. They'll send you gifts. They'll visit you. You can visit them. But you have to send 2% of your credits home to them every week. And eventually, like I said, you can get... You can be like, all right, I don't want to send you any more money. I'm sorry. And you get rid of that shit. But honestly, it's probably one of the better perks or better traits, I should say. We talk about Nian Street Red. It's, you know, for Nian um, faction. The same as Freestar, but for Nian. Now we talk about religion and ones. You get raised enlightened. You know, you cannot be part of. Uh, Raised Universal or Serpents Embraced. But if you go Raised Enlightened, you'll be able to access uh, chest in the House of Enlightened. But you lose access to Sanctum Universum chest. Which, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a worst. Raised um, Universal, you know, same thing, but opposite. You know, you won't be able to get Enlightened chest, but you get Universum chest. So, one free stuff, pick either of those. Uh, Summit and Brace is for uh, House Varun, who again, as it says right here, worship a great serpent. And when you jump, uh, using like you know, going from uh, star system to star system, you get temporary boost to health and oxygen. But if you don't jump regularly, your uh, oxygen and health are lower. It's like an addiction, pretty much. Uh, we talk about spaced, which if you take that, you cannot take terra firma. Spaced is you uh, enjoy being, being more in space. If you're in space, you get health and oxygen. They're increased, but they decrease on the surface. Terra firma is the opposite. You get more health and oxygen when you're on the surface, but it decreases when you're out in space. Honestly, they're eh, traits. Taskmaster. You know, you'll be able to have a uh, crew trained better. And sometimes your system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50. But hiring crew costs twice as much. And to be honest, it's, it's pretty good perk because, yes, it will make you hire your crew for twice as much, but you'll be able to make money. It's not super hard. Doing some side quests, exploring, stuff like that, you'll be able to make money. And being able to repair your stuff to full health whenever you're below 50 percent is pretty pretty nice you know free repair uh, we talk about uh united colonies the same as freestyle collective and ordinary and rats but for united colonies if you want to join one of the factions pick one of the trades uh wanted last but certainly definitely not the least perk is wanted is well as it says you're wanted sometimes armed mercenaries will show up you know, not the best because they don't shop as much, but you can get free stuff. And it's uh, and as it says, whenever your health is low, you do some extra damage. So honestly, not the best. Personally, I would take Taskmaster, kid stuff, 
and LEDNA. Also not bad our dream home. Uh, maybe a uh, hero worshipped and like raised and light no raised universal. But with that said, this is pretty much all the background and traits. Again, you can have as many play uh, playthroughs. You don't have to go by what I said. Uh, but with that said, as I said, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, help me out. Let's grow the channel. But there will be more videos of um, Starfield. So come check it out. With that said, don't forget to stay awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.